one of the pieces of feedback that I will always remember is that you said we shouldn't be talking about anti-racism, we should be talking about kindness. I've always had a, a thought in terms of how do we actually do this and how do we actually be, continue to be kind? And I take it back to um, um, our own personal experiences in at home and the experience of dating, of being uh, polite to people, nice to people, um, receptive Showing your their best side. ideas yeah. and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's a good start, right? I have three A's. Um, one is awareness of your surroundings and the people that are around you and the issues and context. Um, number two A is um, affirmation, that you must reaffirm um, affirm these uh, values and actions every day, the positiveness of them. And the third one is actually action. Racism is a, um, a multi-headed beast. It's intergenerational, inter lived experience, intercultural. Um, how do you tackle a systemic problem like that? Where do you start? Um, I, I think um, starting um, at the top would be helpful um, at the board level. Uh, where the um, governors of the organisation have said, look, we're not going to tolerate any of uh, this bias or structural or systemic um, racism. They can uh, work from the top because if it doesn't work from the top, it's not going to work at all. You know, New Zealand is one of the most diverse um, uh, countries in the world now, especially in the last 20, 30 years. And, and they say that in around about um, another 10 years' time, 50% of our population uh, will be of colour of some sort and the rest Caucasian. Um, I think we have a big responsibility in just, just de-human, de de-racing things and just saying that we all valued human beings. Yep. How do we move forward and progress inclusion if we haven't decolonised the system? Well, I think the easiest thing is actually go and visit a marae. Um, Organise the marae. Make sure you pay the koha to the marae. Um, if you've got Māori staff, they could actually guide you. And if not Māori staff, you've got on your um, organisation. Um, there must be some friends and neighbours that you know of and says, look, can you come and help us and support us on our journey to the marae and tell the marae what you want to learn. And, and then they will facilitate it. Do you have any suggestions on how bystanders can intervene without escalating the situation? I think at work, um, you can actually um, play role the situations. Um, play role situation where there's going to be an abuser and play role how you can actually be safe um, in terms of being a upstander. Um, um, the police will actually support you in terms of how to do it. They would like you to actually gather evidence and they will have a way of showing you how to gather evidence, which is not, um, not hard, which is really writing time, place, um, who, how many people involved, um, what was said, and the best thing is a camera capture. Yeah, how do you manage the challenge of wanting to promote inclusion within organisations but not putting too much pressure or workloads on those minority groups to manage the initiatives? Well, Adrian. one way is to employ some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is, look, don't just ask the minorities what they want, whether they have disabilities or they are different minority races or yeah. anything. Ask the whole organisation. Yeah. And ask the organisation how they could actually help to um, uplift and respect um, the values of um, the minority workforce. Um, I just want to leave some time to talk about the National Action Plan. Um, can you introduce what it is, uh, how we can participate, what your timeframes are? So the National Action Plan is a United Nations signed up document with the New Zealand government and the Labour Party have actually put it in their uh, manifesto. And so they are going to um, own and implement the action plan. They have asked the uh, Human Rights Commission to actually engage with civil society, which is yourselves. And we would love you to participate in your experiences and your knowledge 
and how to eliminate racism in Aotearoa. You could go to the Human Rights Commission's website, againstracism.hrc.co.nz. Um, Thank you so much for your time, my friend. Um, it has been such a great korero, as always. Yeah, it was a great chat. Lovely to be with you all.